am not an alarmist, but I do consider myself a realist. And as such, I regard Uncle Sam's fiscal situation as perilous, if not desperate. And it is high time that Uncle Sam's nephew took the old gentleman into the financial woodshed and taught him a few of the financial facts of life. Uncle Sam should be reminded, among other things, of the fact that the dollar today is cheaper than ever before in history. In exchange with the Canadian dollar, it will bring 95 cents. In the United States, it is worth only 48 cents compared to the 1939 dollar. This is due in large measure to deficit spending by Uncle Sam. Between 1939 and 1952, Uncle Sam spent $227 billion more than he took in. And in that same period, the value of the dollar plunged from 100 pennies to 52 pennies. In summary, I believe that our government should operate its fiscal policies along certain convictions, among which are the following. I believe that the federal government should not spend more than it takes in unless there is a period of war or dire national emergency declared by the Congress. I believe that the federal government, like any honest man, should pay its just debts regularly. I believe that the people can spend their own money better than the government can spend it for them. And I believe that the government can give the people nothing which it does not first take away 